Welcome back to the channel, Why Not Comics. Today we hit five antique shops. Then we swing by a comic book shop and uh, something crazy happens. Never happened to me before in my life. And uh, I got one of the best deals of 2023. You don't want to miss it. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we're in Florence, South Carolina, and we're actually gonna hit a couple uh, antique shops today. And here's a little uh, Carolina collectibles, little uh, mom and pop shop. Let's see if we can find some Funko Pops, some comic books, all that good stuff. They're locked. Wait, wait, they're not open. <laughs> NASCAR stuff. What is it? A piece of glass. Depression. Yeah. Got any comic books around here? I do not. I figured I'd ask. You never know. <laughs> That's true. Thank you, buddy. You're All right, guys. Antique shop number two, Uncommonly Southern. No comic books the first time. Round two. Let's see if we can find something. All right, y'all. We're at our third antique shop. Let's try to find something. Palmetto peddlers. Maybe we can find something good. Never know.
All right, guys, we're still hunting for comic books. Uh, pretty good DC stuff. Uh, some of that stuff is a little overpriced. And even right here, a lot of these books are $7.50, $10. Um, not, not nothing I'm looking for uh, at the moment. But, I mean, I dig through and try to find us any kind of good keys. But nothing real good. Some of that uh, Dark Hawk, you're looking for number 49 and 50. That's some good books to pick up. It's towards the end of the series. And uh, they're kind of high. Some Lobo, some Wolverine. Y'all know number uh, 88, Wolverine 88. This is the Deadpool and Wolverine. Looking for stuff like that. Birds of Prey, not really. Some more DC stuff. But even then, the prices are still too high. So I just kind of keep digging, looking for something that... Uh, that uh it's a decent price or just a good deal but nothing at this antique shop so far so um there's some uh, green lantern my buddy's actually looking for some green lantern stuff but for ten dollars i just can't pay that much for it and i just kind of keep looking there i notice i have some more comic books down here some walking dead some more wolverine stuff and uh just gonna keep digging maybe i can find something Number five, see what we can find. All right, guys, we get here at this antique shop. This is the only comic books I actually had. They got some uh, Donald Duck stuff, and they wanted twenty dollars. And it's probably fifteen comic books, some silver, some gold, age, golden age, and uh, some ten centers. There's actually a. Uh, there's another good one in here. I can't remember what it was. But I'll pop it up on the screen next. All right, guys, we got Popeye. No, this is actually number four. I thought it was number one, but it is number four. So I went ahead and passed on it because there's a little bit of issues right, with guys, it. All right, let me tell you a little something real quick. All right, we was at a comic book shop, and there was a lady there trying to sell comic books. And I seen what she had, and I heard the guy offer her like half the value, and he still undervalued it so much. 
So when she left the comic book shop, I said, ma'am, uh, I will give you what she, what, uh, the full value of the comic books, which was $400. And he was going to give her 200 So I said, yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll give you 400 for me. Um, she said, well, just here, give me your number. So she gave me her number. I was like, she'll never call. I was leaving, and she called me and said, meet me across the road at the Krispy Kreme. We're at the Krispy Kreme right now. We can't see it, but we are. And I got the books. Let me show you what I got. $400. I'm like shaking, dude. It's best <laughs> deal I ever got. Actually, I'm going to show you when I get to the house, so y'all stay tuned. <laughs> Until we hit that thumb button. Hit that thumb button. All right, guys. So I went to this comic book shop. It's the second time I've been there, and I actually pick up something. I pick up uh, for my daughter. She loves Stranger Things, if you know the channel. You know she loves Stranger Things. So I picked up uh, this Barb Stranger Things. This one came out in 2017. I think this is one of the first uh, people that die on Stranger Things. Anyways, I picked it up for uh, my daughter, Noah. She loves Stranger Things. So I grabbed it for her for uh, 20 bucks, And not too bad. But just to finish out the collection, I went ahead and grabbed it for her. This is one of the ones she was missing. So I picked it up for her. All right, so this is what happened. This uh, comic book shop, a lady went in there trying to sell some books. It was three of them. I seen them. I seen the books. I got them right here. And um, he, he valued her uh, books at $400, but he offered her 200 So I asked the lady, I said, look, are you trying to sell the books? She said, yes, I'm trying to sell them. I said, well, I'll give you uh, $400. That's what he said your books are worth. I'll give you what they're worth. And um, she said, well, just write my number down. And uh, well, no, I gave her my number. She said, what's your number? I'll, I'll I'll let you know. So I gave her my number. Uh, I didn't think nothing of it. I didn't think she was going to call. And I was heading down the road, and she texted me. said, oh, uh, if you want the books, I'm at, um, where was she at? Uh, I can't, now I'm running blank. She was at uh, Dunkin', not Dunkin', Donuts, Krispy Kreme. She said, I'm at Krispy Kreme um, if you want them. So I met her inside, and I uh, seen the books. They they already already seen them. I went through them. They looked perfect. And uh, let me show you what we got. All right. First thing we got is X-Men number 121. We got an Alpha Flight book. Awesome, awesome cover. Uh, awesome pickup for $400. I'm going to show you why it's an awesome pickup. But this is one of the books I got for $400. Really good book. Um, she said that her mom, I think, had a comic book shop in, uh, somewhere. And uh, anyway, she got my number. And when she gets the rest of her books... She's going to give me a call. She actually says she thinks she has a, a Hulk 181. Um, but she's not sure if it's missing the value stamp or not. But still, I'm going I'm to check it out. And uh, she might actually have a giant size X-Men or something. You never know. Um, but that's the first one. Awesome little cover. Um, am I going to get this one graded? Probably not. I'll give this a maybe like a 9. It's a higher grade book, but... You know, uh, X Men is coming to the MCU eventually, and Alpha Flight's gonna come soon too. And uh, that's a good invest investment book to buy and put up. That's actually the very the only one I own. So awesome uh, cover. So I grabbed that one. All right, guys. Here's one of the good ones. Well, actually, that one's good, but this one's decent. This one's better. All right, we got uh, First Gambit X Men number two sixty six. This is a very high grade book. I'm gonna get it pressed and sent to CGC. It's not a newsstand. But this book is very, very clean. Very, very nice. This is the second uh, book I own of uh, Gambit. I actually got another one. I paid $100 for that one. It's up there. It's a, that, that one's about an 8. So this is going to be, um, like I said, I'm going to get it pressed and sent to CGC. Maybe I'll get uh, a 9-8. You never know. But uh, just say $100 each book. That's, two, that's 200 books. So I have 200 in this book. And uh, this one does need a press, but I'll give this book a six um, with a good press. But we got X Men number ninety four. This is the second appearance of Storm and all Nightcrawler and uh, Colossus. So, and I think somebody leaves the X Men team too or something. But anyways, uh, awesome book, and I have two hundred dollars in this book, so a six zero for two hundred. Y'all comment down below. Do you think I did pretty good? So this is one of the best uh, deals I got of 2023. And um, comment down below. Uh, do you do you think I got a good deal? And uh, what would you have done in that situation? You was at a comic book shop. You hear a deal going on, but it fell through. 
would you go ahead and uh, hop on that situ- uh, hop on that that deal and try to pick something up, or you kind of just avoid it? Or I mean, some people are like man, you kind of they he didn't take the deal. I mean, she didn't want to do that, and he didn't offer no. I just gave him exactly what the value what he, I thought he valued him pretty low. I put this book around a six oh like it is. I'm saying around four hundred dollars for this one. This gambit, just say it's a nine four. That's to be. Just, just, just say nine four. That's probably like a hundred fifty, two hundred dollar book. So that's that's six hundred right here in this Alpha Flight. I would say maybe a hundred, hundred twenty five. So I think I did pretty good for four hundred dollars. And um, now that I got the lady's number, cause she texts me. So now I got her number. Now she might have better deals. Too. I might get better deals too, or more comic books because now I got the connection that I need, especially with her um, mom having a comic book shop. So, overall, I think I pre- did pretty good. Comment down below what you think. I mean, for $400, you get three books. And uh, I've been looking, not to mention, these are going to the PC. I, I've been looking for this book anyways. I don't have a giant size X-Men or 181. But I do got the second appearance. And this Gambit, if this thing's in, I'm just saying, I have room to make a lot of money on if I get this one as a 9.8. But I don't have no graded uh, Gambit books or X-Men 266, so I'm going to get that graded. Even if it comes back a 9-4, I'm happy because I just, you know, I wanted a graded uh, Gambit. And as soon as something happens with the X-Men, it's going to shoot up in price. And just like this one is another good one. I'm not going to get this one graded just because a 9-0 is probably not worth that much to get graded. But as soon as something happens with the X-Men, it's a good time to sell these comic books. So I would only sell a comic book when it's time to sell a comic book. Or if you really like, if you really like the book, keep it if you not really don't really care about the character or the book that much and you got it and uh, something happens and it starts spiking go ahead and sell it that's a good time to sell especially when you don't really care about the comic book or you don't really like see i like x-men and i like thor and i like venom and spider-man i don't care about um any of that i don't care about like flash or any dc stuff because i don't have much of dc anyways but i do have one I got a couple books sent to CGC, and I got one uh, one DC book sent off. Hopefully, it'll come back pretty soon. But, like, this Wolverine, I'm probably going to keep that. But this Shocker, like, I would sell that. If it, if it hops up in price, or well, a lot of the stuff I'll keep. But there's other stuff that I would sell, like the Moon Knight. As soon as something happens with Moon Knight, which I probably should have already sold that book, but the time I got it from CGC, it was already too late. The, the, uh, the prices started dropping, but... Just stuff like that, or, uh, um, actually, I got it over there. But that's just kind of a good time to sell, is uh, when stuff starts spiking, then you sell. You only got to, it depends. You might have a week, two weeks. You might have a month. You don't really know, but just anyways, comment down below if you think I did pretty good. And uh, if you're enjoying the content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Y'all have a good one.